it's Alexa and I'm continuing with the life-changing magic of tidying up decluttering the last stage which is mementos and photographs and so this is I think part three I'm not completely done but I just want to share what we did here making a display for a lot of our snapshots that we decluttered and putting them up where we can see them and enjoy them and getting rid of the ones that we don't need anymore that didn't spark joy so stick with me and I'll show what I did here. Here we are with our box of photos and we're gonna go through these photos as a family. This box of photos comes from the basement. It's been there for many years and it's time to go through it with the Conry method. Uh, behind it you can see a bulletin board that I just created on the wall here and it's also covering a multitude of flaws in the wall and the idea is to put some cool uh, pictures on there. Here's progress after I'm not sure how much time but uh, we sat down and went through a number of photographs and obviously much more to do here. On the left that's a throwaway pile including a lot of negatives and duplicates. Okay, so I've gotten through this whole bin, emptied it out. I would say this was like a first pass. I was, we were able to, I should say, declutter a lot of the photos. It's also a game of concentration because I'm thinking of sort of categories to organize the photos in, such as home improvement, travels, uh, performances, kids, camping, things like that. A useful thing that Marie Kondo said in her book, and definitely something that helped me, was that you know we don't need to keep the envelopes and we don't need to keep the negatives. One thing that'll be nice about getting rid of photos is I can literally just throw them right in the trash, unlike some of the other things that have to be donated because you know then sometimes they can find their way back into your life if, if you don't get them off to Goodwill soon enough. But um, photos, you know, once you throw them in the trash, bye-bye. I stuck a few photos on here just experimenting with uh, this huge bulletin board that I've created in, on this wall and I'm also thinking about possibly hanging other photos on the sides of that and I don't know if that if I like that idea or not but that's one concept I'm toying with it looks kind of sad right now but I'm sure it'll It'll look cool when it's done. More photos throughout the house and these photos in frames. And then actually in this cabinet, I have some additional photos that have been hidden away. So some things may need to come out of frames. Or had contained a number of photos and other mementos. Uh, so I've cleared that out out this top area of the built-in china cabinet. This is an aside, one of the things that I gave away from the china cabinet is wine glasses because we never use them. So actually I went to a friend's party yesterday and brought them a ton of wine glasses and they were very happy. It, it was actually a nice gift to bring to a party. So I just wanted to share what we did here. I got some of these square bulletin board, uh, cork board, uh, tiles and just decided to go up to the ceiling. I mean, we briefly explored the idea of covering the whole wall and actually I left enough space so I could go another width of these squares on either side. Probably the most shocking pictures that we found, and they were difficult to look at, were childbirth pictures <laughs> that I believe my mother took uh, when I was giving birth to my first child. So I showed that as an educational moment to my children and then we threw them away. Don't really need to post those up on the bulletin board. There's a lot of great moments here. There are things up on the wall that had been in frames for years and now they're out here and the frame is, is being repurposed for something else. What do you think about this? 
process that we've been going through with the photos, the Conmarie process? Um, first it made a mess. Yeah. And you organized it all, mm -hmm. put it up there. Were there any pictures that I showed you that um, were more memorable than others? <laughs> How did you feel about seeing um, those pictures that uh, my mom took of your brother being born? <laughs> you wanted to see them. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. You, you said you I. I said, "Do you want to see these?" Because oh. I was I was shocked when I saw them, and I was like, "I forgot that I had them." <laughs> Well, so, it didn't shock me. It didn't shock you? No. Wow. Well, when you get older, they'll show you documentaries. And you'll be like, you'll be like, yeah, I already saw that. <laughs> should we have kept those pictures? I mean, we took them. No. Do you think we should? Should they have been taken in the first place? No. <laughs> Why would they be taken? I don't know. Some people take videos of childbirth. Yeah. So we took pictures. I didn't realize that we had those pictures, though. That was pretty funny, though, right? Um, what did you think about your brother's reaction to that? He acted like he never knew where babies came from. <laughs> and he's older than you, so he really should yeah. know, right? Why don't you do a little bit of Conmarie on these photos? Like, pick up a photo and ask yourself if it sparks joy, you know? What's Conmarie? Oh, great. So, I hope that was helpful. I, as I said, we're still in the process of doing this. And this is the, I would say, third stage. I've broken it up into four stages for the photos and I really am happy with how this looks. I had a couple other bulletin board items and um, this is the end result, <clears throat> consolidating a bunch of different ones. Um, if you've had good uh, ideas for how to display mementos and photographs, I'd love to hear them. The final stage for me anyway, what I'm thinking is gonna be the final stage is when I get the remaining photos into an album or into albums, I should say. So stick around, eventually I'll get there, but this is an update on what we've achieved. All right, keep going, Conry, Conry followers. <laughs> okay, bye. Here we are with our box of photos, and we're gonna go through these photos as a family. <laughs> and okay, when you do that, I have to cut that out because it looks like you're humping the photos.